Chinese New Year is based on the, the, uh, the lunar calendar. So it's not like the Western based on the sun. It started approximately about 2000 BC. It's the most important holiday and the family members gather together, even people from far away. They travel to the grandmother, grandfather's house and they will have a big dinner together to celebrate the end of the year and the starting next new year is officially first day of the year. For Chinese New Year, as a family tradition usually, is we eat together for a dinner, have a big family gathering, and um, hand out red envelopes. We also go to the temple on New Year's as well. It is like the epitome of Vietnamese culture for me to like see my grandparents, see all our family, friends, and see my parents all within. I, we jumbled it into this little weekend. In ancient China, people mainly rely on the agriculture. So farming is very important. At the beginning of each year, that is right before people start to plant rice and wheat and vegetable stuff, food. So before they start work, they get together with families, friends, have a big feast dumplings and, and the nian gao, sticky rice, uh, and uh, all kinds of uh, food. And also Chinese New Year promote the economics and it promote the agriculture and also new energy. Like every Chinese New Year people start to say, hey, let's forgive each other and we have a, a new start. So the family will be happier and uh, they visit friends they even haven't seen for a whole year. Socially and psychologically, people get more bond together. There is a tradition uh, for Chinese New Year for firecracks and uh, red color. So the animal is kind of imaginary evil spirit or something. People call it uh, 年兽. 年兽. 年 means year, shou means animal. This animal is kind of uh, evil. Every year at certain period of time before spring start, they came to the village and started killing and the trash and just kind of massacre for, for the village. And the people really want to scare him away. So they find if you make loud noise and if you put red color, red blanket, red cloth, wave at it, this animal is scared, run away. That become a tradition. So people start to have uh, firecracks and uh, red color all over the place. Later on, people just uh, think that this is also a happy sound, happy color, and start to change into red clothes. Girls are wearing red clothes, red flower, red paper cut. Since this is my first year up at college, I, um, I kind of miss my family a lot, so it was nice to see them like a little bit for the new year. It's an important holiday for me, even I'm far away from my country. Particularly important for me here, I can uh, pass kind of tradition back to new generations like uh, Chinese students and help them to understand Chinese culture. To celebrate New Year is not just Chinese. I think in Vietnam, in Korea, the same day, exactly same period time. Doing this for the first time, collaborating 
with the Northwest Chinese Association up here in Bellingham. So that was, we kind of hosted our own celebration. I definitely think it should be like celebrated up here. Obviously we do not have the same numbers as we have like in down in Seattle or something, but it's still good to show um, what we do during this time of year.